What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. So what I want to do today, guys, is give you all three websites that I personally use to submit songs to Spotify playlists. I realized that in my other video that while those tips may be helpful, it can be difficult at times to find these playlists and these playlists just by using Spotify or by even using these social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now the first one that I wanna talk about is this site called Soundplate. And what it is, is an aggregator of these Spotify playlists from people who submit theirs to the platform. What it does is allow you to go in, search these playlists by genre, or even mood types, I think, and then filter through them and submit directly to the playlisters. And the only problem with this website is that it allows anyone with the playlist to submit their to the platform. So you'll have to do your due diligence and actually go through the playlist and actually see if they're worth the time to submit to. But it can be a good way to find smaller playlists who are just starting out so that you have somebody to build up with from the ground up or to find some of these bigger playlists who aren't as accessible on these other platforms, but they don't mind putting their information out on this one. Then the second one is this platform called uh, Indie Mono and much like Soundplay it also doubles as a playlist aggregator of user submitted playlists but unlike Soundplay Indie Mono has went out of their way to actually create their own playlist network that it allows users to submit their songs to. They have playlists ranging from hip-hop to rap playlists to chill music to EDM really expanding over a different amount of genres and networks so that anyone who wants to submit their music to a specific type of playlist has somewhere that they can call home and has a playlist that they can actually reach out to. Now just like Soundplay on Indie Mono, you'll definitely have to do your due diligence and figuring out which playlists are worth your time in submitting to. And with their own network playlist, the official Indie Mono playlist, they're definitely a lot harder to get into, but I say it's worth you guys shooting your shot. And the third one is this site called Submit Hub. It originally started out as a platform for artists to submit their songs directly to bloggers and eventually grew into a platform where artists could submit their songs to different individual tastemakers. Now their submission process is a little bit more complicated compared to the other two that I talked about. So I want to show you guys a little bit more of an in-depth walkthrough on how to use it. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Submit Hub. Now the first thing that you'll want to do to get to the screen that I'm on is click up here where it says blogs and labels. Once you do, it'll bring you right to the screen that I'm on. So as you can see, it's currently listing every single blog, label, Spotify playlist curator, every single person that's listed on this website. So what you'll want to do is come over here to the left side and filter it out. So as you can see, you can filter out by genres. So they have rock and guitar, electronic, urban and pop. You can also filter out based on whether or not this is a premiere request or if they have a Spotify playlist you can filter out based on the price of the uh, curator which I'll get into a little bit more later on in this walkthrough and you can also filter out based on what type of outlet it is and so on so what we want for this uh, example is just anyone that has a Spotify playlist so go over here and filter out has a Spotify playlist and come down and scroll to where it says Spotify playlist and make sure that, that is the only thing that's checked off once you get a little bit deeper into it you can filter it out based on the genre that you're looking for and how much money you're trying to spend. But for now, it should get us through. So once you do that, it'll pretty much list off every single Spotify playlist and playlister that's listed here on the website. So if you go and look a little bit deeper into them to give you some information about it. So for instance, this one right here, A of D3, they have 151,000 followers on their playlist. They're averaging about 1100 plays a day they have an approved rate of about 13 percent and they also have some notes over here so it says that their gender bias is indie pop indie rock uh, alternative and things like that so for this example i'm going to be using a rap song so what we want to do is find a playlist that, that typically shares rap music um, and falls within our demographic all right so here's one right here sunday service they have 6600 followers uh, it says they do typically accept r&b and rap so this is the one that we're going to use for this example so once you click the playlist it'll bring you to a page that gives much deeper information about the playlist so here's some statistics as you can see this playlist has gotten around 2400 submissions and only accepted 300 of them so it has about a 22 percent acceptance rate and it says they typically share as either a soundcloud playlist or a repost or also as a spotify playlist and they also have a turnaround time of about three days so that means it could take you up to three days to hear back from this playlist or to see if anything has been accepted it also tells you how responsive that they are so you can see with premium credits they're very responsive with standard credits they're still pretty responsive but not as responsive so the difference between these two is standard credits are free and premium credits you pretty much have to pay for 
Uh, so that's why these playlists tend to listen to those a lot quicker because they're making money from those. And you can also come over here to where it says Spotify data and it gives you much deeper insights into the playlist. So as you can see, they have about three playlists with the bigger one, the Sunday service one having 1300 followers, averaging about 30 plays a day and about 1.3 plays per follower. And you can also see that they were pretty much on a steady incline and then spiked for some reason and then incline again this could typically be indicative of either some type of hard marketing campaign so like maybe they were running a facebook ad or something like that or sometimes you need to be cautious because it could be indicative that they have recently bought followers for the playlist um we're just going to move forward with this one for this example and continue moving forward you can also see the preferences so it shows you which types of music that they typically prefer and also how they usually prefer to get their songs and their links so they also accept standard and premium credits they typically prefer it to be a soundcloud or a spotify link and they usually only want new songs um so if your song is old and they can see that then this playlist for example might not accept it uh, that's not the case with every single playlist and every single playlist is just for this one so once you've pretty much looked through the playlist and made sure it's something that you want to deal with, something that you're able to work to, what you'll want to do is go to send to this blog and to give you a little bit of information about submitting and then you'll just want to begin. So next it'll bring you to a stage where you just will need to click what song you want to upload. Now in order to do this you'll need to sign up, make an account and then go ahead and upload the song that you want to have submitted. Usually to do this you'll just need the link to the song so the Spotify link or the Apple Music link or the SoundCloud link and you'll need an mp3 version of the song because what Submit Hub does is it gives the playlist the link for if they decide to share but it allows them to listen to the song in this private dashboard from the mp3 link that you uploaded. So for this example we're going to use the Tom the Mailman song and here it is again guys telling you how big of a response you can expect from each of the credits so if you use premium credits you get a guaranteed response within the next 48 hours or your submission goes directly to the top the blogger is required to listen to at least 20 seconds of your song before making a decision and you'll get at least 10 words of feedback if your submission is declined but if you use the standard free, uh, free credits then it caps you with two credits for every four hours just to keep bloggers from getting overwhelmed and you have no guarantee of a response or feedback so you could just never hear back from the playlister again never know why your song wasn't accepted and things like that for this example we're using standard credits so we're just going to move forward with that so then it brings you to a different page with just a little bit more information asking you more questions so are you mostly interested in blog reviews or spotify playlists or are you just looking for exposure uh, we're of course looking for Spotify playlists, so that's what you'll want to click. Then it also asks you if they have permission to monetize your song on their channel. This is mostly for YouTube channels. As you know, once a YouTube channel uploads their song, they're usually monetizing it from their presence. But this doesn't really apply to our situation, so it doesn't matter in this example. And then it asks you if you're comfortable receiving feedback in another language, just because sometimes these playlists are often in different countries than you. And they just want to make sure that you're okay with getting feedback in a language that you may not understand. Or or if you will want to pick one that you do understand just to kind of filter them out that way. And then once you go through all that, it'll ask you to come over here and filter through the genre just to make sure that you once again fit this playlist. You'll want to click the little box next to it and then come over here and submit. And so then they ask you one more time, you know, you're about to submit this song. Are you cool with it? Do you want to provide a 100 character pitch? You don't have to, but it's pretty much just asking if you want to give more information to the playlist or as to why they should include the song. So maybe there's some significance around the song like it has, you know. 200,000 plays and this influencer included it on their daily podcast and things like that. So once you have all that situated, you'll just want to click submit. And there it is guys, your song has now been successfully submitted to the playlist. You'll just want to take the time out to wait to hear back and see what they have to say. So yeah, there it is guys, a basic walkthrough of Submit Hub. Use it to find some playlists that make sense for your genre and to reach out to curators. You may even want to use it to reach out to bloggers and other types of channels like that in the future. So good luck with it. So as you guys can see, Submit Hub can be a very useful tool for finding these tastemakers and these playlist curators and reaching out to them. Luckily for you guys, I talked to the owner of Submit Hub and he wanted me to let you guys know that if you email him letting him know that you found out about Submit Hub through this video, he'll give you all some free credit so that you can try the platform out. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey and I'll see y'all next time.